Welcome back, everyone. Hope you are well. It's been it's been a it's been a little while. I'll be making an update video along with this one, but I was asked to um, look at ricing Zathura as your PDF reader and how you could actually change the color theme to match your own system theme. And I was playing around with some of the options, and this is what mine looks like. So right now, um, I am all about all things Grubbox. So you can see I opened up Zathura, and it actually has a Grubbox theme. It's got one of the backgrounds, the yellowish text. Images are actually inverted, and the reason for this is that the actual option to set inversion is set by default. So the first thing that happens is that my documents will open inverted. Uh, so this is what it would actually look like based on um, a document I have before on my Viking leatherwork research. So what does this actually look like? If I hit I to invert it again, it looks exactly like Zathura normally does, but it starts off inverted and it actually has this grub box color theme. So how did I get this? So all of these options right here are options that are in the documentation that you can pull out. I just did the you know programming cheating way, which is really just you see somebody's examples, you grab everything they have and you tweak it until it fits your own needs. And so that's what I did. I went through all of these and I changed them to Grubbox colors and I separated them out into individual sections. Um, the only thing I moved down here was this set recolor and true. And what this does is that causes the recolor is the inversion. So when I open it up, it's automatically inverted, which is why it opens up that way. Um, you could just remove this and only have it invert on when you want it to with the I key. If you have this, um, this option here, map I to recolor. These are all different defaults that I have in my Zathura RC. But for instance, what these do are um, certain options in the reader or certain sections in the reader are all assigned these different hex codes. And for uh, recolor, dark color, light color, these are the actual background colors and text colors of the document itself. So let's move this over to that tab. There we go. Okay, so the highlight color and active color um, are actually when you search for text. So if I did this and I search for leather working, it would not find it. And so this is when it's actually highlighting the background and the text itself. It will actually um, find these uh, items and then highlight it with this blue color, which is also another Grubbox color. And if I go to um, capital N, it'll actually, you know, toggle through all of these. And, um, oh, I have it set to the exact same. What I was gonna do is I was actually gonna make one of these a little bit uh, brighter, but the highlight color is this blue color and highlight active color is like, I'm looking at this specific one. So if I was like focused on this one, which I am, um, it would actually, be a different color if I set it to be that, which I actually need to. Um, status bar is just this bar down here at the bottom. You can see I have it set to the typical Grubbox background, so it blends in with the document, and it has uh, the typical text. EBD BB2 is, by now I have a lot of these hex codes memorized because I make everything Grubbox. But uh, the text is this yellowish text for this status bar. If I invert it, it stays the same. Um, Input bar is when I'm like searching, like when I search for the, the text, this input bar, that's what those two are, set input bar, background, foreground. The index, the index is for if you actually have sections in your documents. So if you have a PDF you received that actually has sections or if it was written with LaTeX, you can actually, um, da -da -da -da, it looks like it's not my own setting. So if you hit tab, if you hit tab, it'll actually bring up the index or the sections of your document. And you can scroll down here with HJKL or the arrow keys, go into these uh, subsections and having it with um, this Grubbox text color, the background and this lighter background right here is all of these options. The index active background foreground, uh, the index background foreground. So basically the text is always gonna be this yellowish color, but depending on um, what thing is selected, it's either gonna be a dark or slightly lighter background in my index. So that's what index is. Um, Oops, I did not mean to do that. Well, in the meantime, um, 
there. So the notification warning error, those are all exactly what you would expect to th see. Like if something goes wrong, um, if I try to find hello world, nothing's found, uh, whatever, you know, not a valid command, all these different things are all just the same color. They appear this way. Um, and then let's see, completion. I don't think I've actually done anything with this. I think I just left these in case I ever do need them. But I think, yeah, so if I just type colon for like a command and I go through here, this is what it is. Um, all of these are for this um, menu where you can just type colon and start tabbing through so you can find options to, of commands to run. And it'll give you a little bit of information about it, but this selection color, the background and the text, that's all what these options are. And all of this stuff is in the documentation of Zathura. Uh, but, you know, you can always just grab my own dot files and do what I did and just find some dot files, copy over these sections and make things work for you. Uh, I didn't really read too much about what the options did. I just kind of, I like to just tinker with things until I figure out what they do before I revert to documentation when I get frustrated. So really what I did is I just started playing with the hex codes until I figured out which things corresponded to what and reviewed the documentation as necessary. Um, I feel like a lot of people like to learn that way. It's just how I did it. But now I actually have my documents opening in default Grubbox colors, and I rather I rather like it. Um, I do like dark readers. I do like dark theme everything. It's better for my eyes, and I like it that way. Um, I, if I remember correctly, I think light themes are actually... like they, The blue light can be bad for your eyes, but that it's actually easier and less eye strain to actually have a light theme. But... I just like dark themes, so I'm, I do what I want. Um, but yeah, the only issue that I really don't like is that the images are inverted, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. Maybe if there's another option for that that somebody can tell me about, if there's a way to keep inversion on, but not for images, that would be cool. But um, I'm not thinking that that's probably an, an option. But, uh, but yeah, so this is how I riced my Zathura theme and the different sections I used. I'll, Upload these to my dot .files uh, right after this video, so you can catch, you can grab this if you want to and play with it yourself. Um, but that's all I really did. That's all the options I've, I have so far. If there's more, I probably might go through it. But to be honest, I just I just read things in Zathura, and this is pretty sufficient for what I've been needing to use it for so far. So uh, before I go, thank you to my patrons Devin and Alberto. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and uh, I'll have another video out soon announcing some changes and some updates. So I'll catch you all next time. Bye.